no team in the history of the NBA playoffs has overcome a 3-0 deficit. So barring something truly historic by Minnesota, it'll be the Dallas Mavericks who will play the Boston Celtics in those NBA finals. And that would mean a date with a former Celtic that fans here in Boston have now learned to love to root against. Kyrie Irving is one win away from returning to Boston, and the stakes this time couldn't be higher. So don't expect a warm welcome. He's going to get what he deserves. He left town, now he's going to get a slap in the back of the head when he comes to Boston. So, I hope they sweep him, because I want to see Kyrie, Kyrie, go home. From stomping on the logo to flipping off fans, there's no love lost between the former Celtics star and fans here. I think you're going to see in this area here a lot of nonsense going on, but good nonsense, right? Celtics are in the finals playing against an old teammate, and you got a star like Luca, top five player in the league, coming to town to face off in the finals against Tatum and Brown. So I think it's going to be pretty crazy. There was a time Celtics fans hoped Kyrie would be the one to lead them here. Now fans say the thought of beating him would make an 18th title even sweeter. That would be spectacular. I think it would be the biggest celebration probably in Celtics history. I, I think it would be just as big as if we beat the Lakers. I, I honestly believe that. Perhaps it's because the fans I spoke to can't imagine the alternative. I don't, I don't have words. I, if, they lose to, <laughs> if they lose to him, I give up on the Celtics forever. But they're not going to because they have something to prove. They have something, you know, this is a team. The Celtics are a good team all around. They well, either way, Celtics fans will have a long time to think about it. The NBA Finals do not tip off for nine days. Right here at TD Garden, there will be game one. And certainly, regardless of who they play, Celtics fans are already excited. Reporting live outside of TD Garden, Stephen Quinn, 7 News.